guys, this is Miss Honey Bee. I'm back with another video. Um, I'm going back to something real old school for me. I used to make uh, cooking videos um, a while back, but I stopped. And so I thought I'll bring um, a new cooking video to my channel since um, it's very simple ingredients and it doesn't take that long to prepare. So these are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some Swiss shredded cheese. I found that at Walmart, some butter, some heavy whipping cream, some diced or, or chopped um, mushrooms, an onion, and cod. I got my cod from Myers, and it comes um, vacuum sealed. I opened that one, but it comes vacuum sealed like that. And um, a well-oiled um, baking dish. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, saute our mushrooms in the butter. Uh, you do not have to do this step. You can just um, you can just exclude the butter altogether. But this is something that I'm adding. So if you like that idea, then let's go on to step two and um, saute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some butter. And I'm also going to take some olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. Ooh, let's see how we're going to do this with one hand. And I put olive oil in with the butter as well so that uh, it won't burn the butter. So that's a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. And I'm going to put my um, onions in. And my mushrooms. I'm going to give that a little stir. And then I'm going to take my salt and pepper. And I'm going to give it a little um, grind on top. Okay? I just like to add a little butter because I think it adds flavor to your meal. And you're going to need, um, I didn't say this, but you're going to need an 8 ounce pack of uh, mushrooms. And you're going to divide that pack. You're going to uh, saute half and then you're going to hold on to the other half. Okay? So once you've um, sauteed your onions and mushrooms, you're going to lay it evenly out in a baking dish like I've done here. And while you're um, preparing, you want to have your oven heated for, to 400 degrees. You're going to take your um, Swiss, your shredded Swiss cheddar, I mean, sweater, ah, <laughs> shredded Swiss cheese, and you're going to evenly sprinkle it on top of your onion and mushroom mix. Okay. Like that. Is that even? Okay. And then you're going to take your fish. I, you know what? The fish that I purchased, um, I purchased it from Myers. I purchased this right here. I want you to take a good look at this. I purchased this fish right here. And... I usually get my fish, my cod fish from Kroger. Um, I will never be purchasing the Myers fish again because it's, it's like a poor quality. They're not that big in size like compared to the Kroger ones, and they're breaking apart. I never experienced that before with the Kroger brand. So you're going to lay your fish on top the best you can um, if you get this brand. It's breaking up on you. But... Um, here you go. I'm going to lay, lay it out. What you was looking at? My dirty dishes. <laughs> okay. So, we're just going to lay this on. Like so. And I do not have a big enough baking dish, but I'm going to make it work. Got these little bitty pieces of fish. 
<laughs> Just gonna lay it out like that. Okay. So I'm just going to lay it out like that. Okay. And then you're going to uh, take the remaining mushroom and cheese and you're going to um, put that on top. But you're going to do that after you season your um, fish. So I'm going to season mine off camera. Uh, I believe you can use whatever season, uh, seasoning of your choice. I'm going to use probably salt, pepper, and garlic powder, uh, but it's your own preference. So I'll be back for step four. Okay, you guys. So um, once you've topped your uh, fish with the remaining mushroom and cheese, you're going to take one cup of heavy whipping cream. I just poured it in my Pyrex measuring cup and you're going to pour it all over like this. And this is what's gonna make that white cream sauce. It's gonna make it real nice and creamy. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay, you're going to put this in the oven for 400 degrees. And when I'll come back, I'll show you the finished product. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, some additional instructions. Um, you're going to cook um, your fish for 400 degrees um, for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, you're going to go to your oven and you're going to, where's my powder? Ooh. You're going to pull your fish out like this. And then you're going to baste it or you're just going to take, um, whoop, what did that show? I don't know. <laughs> so then you're just going to, um, baste it and that's just taking, um, the stuff at the bottom <laughs> and put it on the top. Ah, I burnt myself. Shit. Oh, fuck. Cook it uh, for an additional eight to ten um, minutes, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is the finished product. Look how bubbly and cheesy it looks when it comes out. I just wanted to show you what it looked like straight from the oven. Um, I prepared mine with some um, uh, Zatarain's cheddar and broccoli rice and some baby lima beans. So I'm going to show you what this looks like all plated up, and I'll be back. <laughs> 